Ghana is about to infiltrate the universe. It sounds too good to be true, right? Stick with me, let's go into depth. But first of all, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Now, let's get started. The Ghana Space Science and Technology Institute GSSTI, was first founded in January 2011 as a center under the School of Nuclear and Allied Science in order to utilize space science and technology for the socio-economic growth of the nation it was later raised to an institute in august 2013. the ghana space agency will become operational in 2013 as a result of the recent announcement by ghana that is ghana space policy and implementation plan has been approved Vice President Ahaji Mahamudu Baumia made the declaration while Ghana was hosting the group on Earth observation week from October 31st to November 4th, 2022. Uh, space policy and uh, the benefits. As for the benefits, it's so much. Let me start to use this is space technology. There is no coordination and we are not even getting good for, uh, uh, value for money. So if we scan around and we have this policy and embedded in it uh, guidelines as to how we are going to even get access data. Let me see. we can put people into space. We, we either rent a place, either on a Russian vehicle or who is that private man? Uh, Elon Musk. Yeah, that half American, half African. <laughs> yeah, so you can. So that's why it's, it's not, neither here nor there. Even we are going to have space tourism. So we don't. The countries doing space exploration now are United States, India, China, Russia, Japan, France, European Union, South Korea, and South Africa. Ghana has continued to demonstrate leadership on the African continent in terms of increasing the deployment of space technology, even if it was not chosen as the host of the African Space Center in 2019. Ghana already has a satellite in space in order to primarily monitor Ghana's coastline, and this satellite was named GhanaSat-1. The country's first satellite was launched from the International Space Station in 2017 with SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Comment I know if you know this. If you don't know, comment I don't know. Now, Ghana has launched its first satellite into space. It was sent into orbit today from the International Space Center. Engineers from the All Nations University in Koforidua, who designed it, will receive the first signal from Ghana Sat 1. The BBC's Thomas Nadi watched its launch with the development team. The engineers who built the first Ghana satellite, Ghana Sat 1, watched live pictures from the International Space Station as it was launched into its orbit 400 kilometers above the Earth. 100 at the auditorium of the All Nations University in Koforidia, shared at the moment it was released. Shortly afterwards, the engineers received the first signal from Ghana Sat 1. It's the culmination of a two year project with the Japanese Technology Institute at the cost of $50,000. The satellite will accomplish many things including collecting data to resource the country's space and science technology sectors. Dr. Richard Damois is the... When it comes to having the most sophisticated satellite dish research program in Africa, Ghana is considered to be second only to South Africa. Ghana is also working hard to find better ways to use Earth observation data to inform planning and decision making in areas like weather forecasting, measuring land use change like deforestation, monitoring coastlines, and observing and responding to disasters like fire, 
floods and earthquakes. Do you think Ghana can make it? Comment your answer. And in my opinion, they can. Because Ghana has intelligent aerospace engineers at NASA who designed the Mars rover and other technologies for NASA. And also, Ghanaians and Africans are very intelligent. This is why President Nana Ekufu Addo and the Educational Minister revealed to introduce aerospace and aviation engineering to high schools in Ghana. This means aviation and aerospace engineering will be added to high school courses in Ghana. The Ghana Space Science and Technology Institute which is currently tasked with utilizing, coordinating, researching, commercializing, and examining space science and technology for the socio-economic development of the nation, is anticipated to see a significant improvement in its results following the operationalization of the Ghana Space Agency. In Ghana, the advancement of space technology has been led by the GSSTI, which was founded in 2012. Due to the operationalization of the space agency, Ghana will need to obtain the tools, expertise, and understanding required to successfully access and utilize Earth observation data, which opens up business prospects for American firms. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video and also don't forget to comment your thoughts. Bye.